if you add up the digits and they're divisible by three, when you add them up, that number is divisible by three. So those are the those are the key things you need to know just to be able to sort out things are divisible by three. So 48, what's the first thing I can take out of here for sure? It's even. Take out all your twos first. Is this even? Mm -hmm. Yes. So two mm -hmm. there. Drop it down. Divide by two, I get 24. Can I divide this by two? Yes, so I take another two out, drop it down. What do I get? What's half of 24? 12. 12. Is that even? Yes, pull out another two. What do I get? Six, even, pull out another two. What do I get? Three. So these are what I call kind of my, my this is like a tree. These are sort of my little leaves. I gather up all the leaves. This is really the same thing as square root of 2 times 2 oops, times 2 times 2 times 3. Everybody okay with that so far? All I did was take all my little factor, my factor tree, and write my factors in here. Now, a square root is what we call a two-type jail because there's an invisible 2 right in here, right? That means that all these guys are in jail. They break out in groups of two. So I'm going to find groups of two. This is an easy way of factoring. So I'm going to grab groups of two. Here's a group of two. They break out as one group on the outside. There's another group of two. They also break out as one group of two on the outside. He's all by himself. He's stuck in jail. He's got nobody to break out with. So I have two twos on the outside. 2 times 2 on the outside, and who's stuck in jail still? Just the 3. 2 times 2 is 4, so this is 4 square root of 3. That's the answer to this one. Okay? Next one. Um, let's do the one, do the, let's do this, this guy here. So this is cube root x to the third, three x's, x, 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 12 y's, y, 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 I'm going to write them in groups of three, y, 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 oh no, I ran, I ran out of the room here. It's a three type jail, so they break out in groups of three. Here's three x's, they make one x on the outside. Here's another group of of three y's, they make one y on the outside. Another group of three y's, they make one y on the outside. Another group of three y's, another group of three y's. So here I'm going to have an x and four y's on the outside. No jail at all. They all broke out of jail. So this becomes x y to the fourth power. How do people feel about this one? Yeah, I have one x and four y's that broke out. So x times y to the fourth. There's four y's. All right, let's go to the next one to the right. Square root. Uh, uh, 32, let's see, what's 32? 32 is a two, I get 16, two, I get eight, two, I get four, two and two. So that's five twos, two times two times two times two times two. Times two. And then, wow, nine, nine, one, nine X's. Kind of a lot. Okay, no worries. They break out in groups of what? Two. Two. So here's my first group of two. Two on the outside. Another group of two. And then X, 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 X. There's four <coughs> groups of X's. So I'm going to have 2 times 2 is 4, 4 x's, and then who's left in jail? 
I've got 1, 2, and 1x. I did that one too fast? Automatically 9x is So go to the next one. A root. Okay, so I've got a negative, and I've got 49. 49 is what times what? Anybody? Seven. Seven times seven by 49. And then I have four x's. I have six y's. Okay, the, what, what type of jail is this? Is it a two type jail or a three type jail? Two or three? Two. Two. <clears throat> Nothing in there. So they break out in groups of two. I want to find your groups of two. Break them out. Four X's. But then, so you have to factor the forty nine first, right? Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna bust oh, these guys out of jail. They come out of groups of two because it's, it's a two type jail. On the outside. I'll tell you what I have on the outside. I don't know. Okay. Is everybody? Does everybody have this written down? Six. Square root of negative. 7 times 7, and then 4x's and 6y's? Okay. They break out in groups of what? 2. So grab a group of two things that are the same and circle them. And draw a little, put up a little flag so they go out. So I have two 7's. Circle the two 7's. Just little, put a little flag up. And maybe write it down. Maybe write it down as soon as you, as soon as you, as soon as you get it. What's the next thing I have? Two of? X's. Two X's. Circle two X's. Write the X down below. What's the next thing I have? Two I'm sorry? Two marks. Two marks. Circle them. Write the X down below. Let me tell you what's the next thing I have. Um, three marks. That's a Y. Right. So circle them one, one at a time. Here's a Y. Write it down. Another Y, write it down. Another Y, instead of Y's, write it down. Okay, I have something left inside. What's left inside by itself? Negative. Negative. I still have an, a square root of a negative. So it can't be just negative by itself, so I'll make it negative 1. Does that make sense? So then I'm going to combine these up. What do I have? I have 7 and then the X to the what? How many X's do I have on the outside? Two. Two. How many Y's do I have on the outside? Three. Three. Three to negative one. So 
put two of them on the inside, you make one on the outside. Right? And, and we all sort of know that, right? Because square root of x squared is just x. It takes two of them, you know, one multiply by itself twice gives me y. Two y's by themselves on the inside give me one, give me y. If it's uh, divisible by four, isn't there a, a shortcut? We didn't do four. We did one. Uh, you two four. and two. Oh, oh two and two. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then, let's see. I'm gonna do. Uh, I guess I'll do this one first. I mean, I'll do. I'll do this one first. Um, let's move over and give ourselves a little more room here. So this is the cube root of negative, oh, yep, yeah, negative 27. Um, so let me ask you something. So one negative is the same thing as three negatives. Does everyone agree with me on that one? A negative times a negative times a negative is just a negative? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So mm -hmm. uh, when I write one, I can write three of them. So, everybody okay with that part? Negative times a negative is a positive, times a negative is a negative. So these make that. Okay. Um, 27. 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. And then we have 15 x's. 1, 2, 3, 4. Can I change it? Is it okay if I change it? Yeah, don't write it the okay. long way. That's too many. Um, let's make it 5x's. That's okay. Because oh. 15 is just too many. Make it 5x's. And we'll make it, um, let's make it y to the 7. I just don't want to write that many y's. It's too many. Okay, so negative, 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 three, 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 five x's and seven y's. Everybody factor that out. It's what type of jail is it? Cute. Yeah, it's a three type jail. Mm. They come out of groups of three. So maybe if you want, as soon as you write it on the outside, feel free to write it, you know, as soon as you pull it out, feel free to write it down below if you want, or, you know, that totally works. Right, so what do we have left inside? Two x's and a y. X, x, y. So this is going to be negative 3x, y squared times cube root of x squared, y. This is what everybody got at the end. And I pulled out a, I pulled out a negative. I pulled out a three. I pulled out an X. I pulled out a Y and I pulled out another set of Y's. What I've left, I have two X's and a Y left inside. So negative three X, two Y's, Y squared. Cube root of, don't forget to cube root. Don't forget to leave that part in there. So these, these folks are still in jail. And then we'll do one last one. And then you folks can do a few on your own. 
we'll do them in class so we can kind of practice. So here I have, let's see, 54. Cube root of 54, it's going to be a negative. And since it's a cube root, I'll, I'll write three of them. 54 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 3, and then 7 x's. And it helps as you write them out. If you know it's a if you know it's a three type gel, you can write them in groups of three. Kind of, you know, you can put a little space between those folks and those folks to make it a little bit easier for you. I was getting confused on the factor tree with the, the cube. Like, it doesn't matter. The cube part doesn't matter. Well, you're, the factor tree when you're doing the fifty four and you're trying to do the cube instead of ignore the cube part. Oh, it's. That this has nothing to do with your tree, your factor tree, at all. Your factor tree has to do with 54. So you do 54. What can I pull out of it? It's even, pull out a 2, I get 27. It's not even, I can't pull out a, I can't pull out a, a 2. Does it, is it divisible by 3? 2 plus 7 is 9. Totally divisible by 3. I divide by 3, I get 9. 9 is 3 times 3. So there's my factor tree. So, um, so Eric, this has nothing to do with the factor tree. The factor tree is just the factors. Factor it. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. What it has to do with is pulling them out. So everybody pull them out in groups of what? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. inside, a 2 and an x. I just have a 2 and an x left inside. Alright, so I got negative 3x squared times the cube root of 2x. So here's a shortcut for folks. Here's the basic concept. When the neg if this is odd, the negative comes out. If this is even, if, if the type of jail it is is even, like a two-type jail, the negative stays inside. Mm. So everybody understand that? If, it, if, if it's a three-type jail, the negative comes out. So negative times negative times negative is you know, negative, so that, that comes out, but it does it for the square roots. Okay. All right, so I would like you folks to work on some yourselves. Can I make this bigger? I can make them bigger. Yeah, that's about as big as I can make them. So write these down. Um, you know what, I'm going to change, it's, it's change the 5 to, uh, to just make it disappear. Let's make it square, square root. That's fine. That's kind of boring. I should add something to it. That's okay. Right, so do these. And uh, we'll come back in like 5 or 6 minutes. You didn't say... Three plus three plus three plus three. Right. You, know, you didn't do it that way because those are ones things you've memorized. 
So I've memorized. Okay, yeah. So you've got to memorize. Okay. Yeah. I, I just I, didn't know if there was a I, short I, Yeah, I know, that, I know that, that 24 is 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 8 times 3, and that's, and that's, and 8 is 2 to the 3rd. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so here, um, I've just spread it all out, and I'm just going to grab it. It's a two-type jail, so I'm going to grab it in groups of two. One, those are not the same, same, same. Same, same. So on the outside I have a two, two X's and two Y's. And on the inside I have a two and a three and an X. All right, so let's clean it up. Two and then X squared, two Y's, Y squared. And then don't forget your jail. Two times three is six X on the inside. So there's my final answer. Good. Next one, um, seven X's, oops, seven X's on the inside. They come out in groups of two. So this becomes X to the third square root of X. I'm just gonna shorten that a little bit. Everybody all right with that part? Mm -hmm. And the last one, I've got cube root negative do you want me to draw three negatives or just leave one negative? What's, where are people's preference? Three of them? One of them? Three of them? Yeah. And then 64, aha, that's a little trickier. So 64 is, I know it's uh, two times two. Now you're just going to do this way. Two times two is four, two eight, six. 16, 32, 64. I'm just going to get that way. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then eight X's. And then, oh, good Lord, 18 Y's. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put both in there. All right, um, Y, 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 Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. On the outside, I have a, <clears throat> a negative. Two times two, x, x, six y's. And I'm left on the inside, I'm left with two x's. That's it, just two x's. All right, so that ends up being negative 4, x to the second, y to the sixth. Ooh, cube root. I would totally have marked myself off half a point for not including it. It's still a three-type jail. Three-type jail with two x's inside. All right, so half point off if you didn't include the little three here. It's a three-type jail, not a regular jail. All right, good. Now we move on. So now that we have the basics, everybody feeling okay with the basics? Mm -hmm. We're going to move on to the um, slightly more complicated versions. This one is only slightly more complicated. When they're the same type of jail, you can just make them one big jail. Mm -hmm. So this is the same type of jail. I'm going to make it into one big one. That uh, six is really two times three. <clears throat> and then I have four X's. And then four is really two times two. And then I have five X's. The difference here is I might have to grab from different areas to get my three, group to the three. So does anyone have this written down yet? I'll give you folks a minute to write these down. Write the first one down for sure. If you get a chance to write the second one down, it's fine, but definitely let's get the first one down and get the, the, it all spread out. So it's cube root of, so we have cube root of 2 times 3 times x times x times x times 2 times 2 and then 5 more x's. Give me a little wave when you have that written down. 
Only one person? Only Ryan's got it written down so far? Mm -hmm. Ryan, write down this, the second problem too, somewhere. You, you can combine all these like terms like that. Okay, so Six we're working on the left problem first. Let's focus on the left problem. That's what I'm doing. Okay. So yeah. So let's see. We've got how many twos do I have? I need three of them to break out. Do I have three? So when they have them combined like this, that's when I kind of like to circle, circle, but then kind of do one out so that I know that I only have one two and not two twos. Do you see what I'm saying? Even though I have two circles. Someone see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then here I have, oh, I don't have any threes, and then I have, here's an X, group of three X's. So I have another X on the outside. Or maybe write it down as you do it, that might be helpful too. And then I have, let me grab, can I grab another three X's here? There's another group of three X's. I think I have one more group of three X's, because I can see that last group of three X's. I can grab them too. So who's left on the inside? Like I just have a three left on the inside, yeah? Good? Yes? Yeah. So on the inside I have two x, on the outside I have two x to the third. On the inside I have cube root of three. Done. So if they're the same type of jail, they're both three type jails, you can combine them into one big jail. Well, I guess my question, like on the on the first step there, can you add six and four and make that ten x uh, to the ninth? What? Six and four. Yeah, because you have the two. Oh. You see six no, no, and no, four. No, no, it'd be six times. It'd be six times four. Okay. So Twenty-four. Twenty-four x to the ninth. Yes. Twenty-four x. Okay, so you yeah. can do a combo like that. Yeah. Kind of. okay. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Okay. So the next one, all right, so here's the deal. Whenever you have a fraction, like this, the one on the left, on the right, so has anyone written it down yet? Everyone write the one down on the right, that's the harder one. I'll make sure we all, we're all square with this one. Whenever you have a fraction, combine, cancel out whatever you can from the fraction first. Everybody understand what I'm saying? So factor it, combine, factor out, and then, and then sort of cancel out whatever you can from the fraction and then pull things out. So here, I'm going to write them out big. Does that one have the right one written down? Yes? Okay, I'm going to write it. I'm going to rewrite it. It's going to be 20 is 2 times 2, 4, 5, times 5. And I have 4 m's. and two n's over 15 is 3 times 5 and I have two m's and I have five n's. Does everybody have that part, those parts written out? Two minutes left. I want to make sure you get a chance to go over these. This is three separate right. examples I'm writing in. All right. So, so first, expand them all out, and then see what you have. Remember, what's two over two? Everybody, One. in general, what's two over two? One. One. What's a million over a million? One. One. What's x over x? One. One. So let's see if. So here we have some things we can just, these are just forms of one we can kind of pull out. Here's a form of one, that those, those go away. Someone, mm -hmm. everyone understanding me? Mm -hmm. M over M, that goes away. M over M, that goes away. N over N, that goes away. Then the N over N, that goes away too. So now I have less stuff. Is everyone, everyone with me? And they break out in groups of how many? Groups of two? Mm -hmm. is, it, is it a two type jail or three type jail? Two. Okay, everybody look up. These break out. This is a group of two, it breaks out, but it's on top. 
So I'm gonna have my line, I'm gonna put it on top. Everybody look again, look up again. I have two M's, it's gonna break out, but again, it's gonna be on top. Good? Um, what do I have on the bottom? I have two ends that can break out. But again, I'm gonna draw a dash off to the, those ends are on the bottom. They, are, they don't move to the top. If it's on the bottom, it stays on the bottom, right? So then what do I have left? On top, I have nothing left. Do you have anything on the bottom? What's on the bottom? Three. Yep, square root of three and an N. Is everybody all right with this concept? Questions about this? Remember, first, write them all out and cancel out what you can and clean it up. And then pull out what you can pull out. Remember, if it's on the top, it stays on the top. If it's on the bottom, it stays on the bottom. All right, have a good day. I will see you folks on Wednesday.